folks in the house coming to you on a hot Monday. Um, I guess the rest of the week is supposed to be pretty hot in my area in the 90s um, and uh, high dew points. So uh, going to be a little uncomfortable out there. Uh, cut the grass yesterday, got that out of the way. Um, glad I did. And uh, yeah, if you guys are out and about, make sure you uh, stay hydrated, drink uh, a lot of water. Um, just be careful. Take some breaks if you're doing, try to do your work, I guess, early in the morning, late in the evening, if possible, a couple degrees uh, cooler possible. Try to take advantage of it, get in shade. Uh, when I did paint in the garage, uh, uh, last week and week before, I, I took days where it was like I had, I painted where the shade was and uh, made things a little better. Um, but yeah, with it being so hot, uh, be careful out there and uh, just make sure you're uh, taking in uh, a water every once in a while and taking some breaks. Um, don't uh, try to, you know, try to do everything all at once, people. I uh, grilled out yesterday and put some uh, pork chops on the grill and uh, kind of interesting is I made half of them uh, with uh, open pit barbecue sauce and the other half I decided to do olive oil and uh, seasoning salt and then um, put a little black pepper on that. Ended up that the olive oil with the black pepper had a little more bite than the open pit barbecue sauce so that was a little unique um, and I even on the barbecue sauce I put some uh, uh, seasoning on there and it was kind of funny that uh, the olive oil with the uh, black pepper uh, had a little more tang to it than the open pit so that was a, a unique uh, something different to try and uh, but uh, very simple like I say I um, use seasoning salt and uh, olive oil and at the end I was like you know what I'm gonna add black pepper to this and I'm glad I did it ended up uh, just adding a nice taste to it uh, tasted great on the grill and uh, it was a great day to be on the grill so um, video wise I haven't been doing as many um, just with being summer and thinking people are like yeah more out and about enjoying the outdoors than worrying about being on uh, the internet I, I know people still are but uh, yeah, uh, if you get a chance, uh, if it's a nice day, uh, take some walks. I took a walk yesterday evening. It was just it was a, just one of those summer days where it was warm and, and not uncomfortable. Uh, so uh, being outside, I was outside for like five hours um, just uh, talking with my parents and my aunt and uncle. Um, just uh, having a nice day, enjoying it. Um, so... That's about that, and gonna have some serious. Gonna have quite a few movies to go over. Um, a lot of them not that great, um, average at best. Uh, but I thought, uh, why not have a? Since I haven't been putting out videos as much, I'll put on a more longer uh, video uh, with some of the movies. And again, I try to do uh, obscure movies, but uh, I'll throw on some mainstream movies here and there, and uh, include those. Uh, again, playlists, uh, more or less, almost all the movies, not almost all, but uh, there's plenty of the movies I reviewed that are, uh, I got the trailers on my playlists. I kind of broke them down into categories. Uh, and so, uh, get down to some movie talk. And I'm going to start with a couple movies that deal with time uh, that, uh, for these two movies, just how the, t the work of the clock is involved. I kind of have to give the movies kind of a, insta instead of being like, hey, these were great movies, just because of how uh, they related to time, kind of went took uh, points away, I guess you want to say. Um, first one uh, called Hours, um, 2013. It got a 6.5. I'm, I'm going to bring it down. I'm going to say a six and Maybe even go a little lower, but I'll, I'll go give it a six. Uh, Paul uh, Walker uh, is in this. Uh, died in 2013. Uh, the movie was released after he died, it sounded like. Um, 
was in the movie famous for the Fast and Furious. Uh, last one was Fast and Furious 7. Uh, and more or less a one-man show kind of on this. Uh, basically deals with uh, he has to keep his newborn baby alive during Katrina at a hospital that's been evacuated. And there's a battery he has to keep um, regenerating. And at first it starts off giving him three minutes, so it's a faulty battery. So he has to keep uh, turning on it and recharging it. And at the end it gets down to a minute and 51 seconds. Well, he's running around in his hospital and then he has to run back to recharge. There's some scenes where it's like, yeah, you can't be doing what you're doing. There's a scene where he's dealing with a generator on another floor <laughs> and he's in the water. And so he's in the water lifting this generator and now he has to run back to recharge this um, battery. And it's like, the, I kind of wish they would to maybe put the original time like at seven minutes and maybe bring it down to four minutes. Just a, the minute 51, there's just a scene. It's like, there's no way you could do what you just did in a minute and 51 seconds. And so, um, it's it has a good story, it does. Um, you know, he's gotta sit through the whole thing. And to be honest, you know, not, there's people that show up in the movie, but there's not a big cast that uh, have have a lot, in the beginning of the movie, it seems like, but after that, when uh, everybody evacuates, it's more or less himself. And every once in a while, you know, somebody would show up. But, um, it holds its own, uh, but uh, the time thing just, uh, it got to me as it was going. It's like, uh, yeah, you're, one scene he runs to the roof and it's like mm, a minute and 51 seconds. So it's like, mm. So that was that, and my next one, 88 Minutes with Al Pacino. Um, that had a 5.9 and was done in 2007. Um, again, uh, the time thing where uh, he's gonna get uh, killed in 88 minutes and he's trying to figure out what, why, who. And there's just some scenes where it's like, no, you can't, for what you did in 88 minutes, I, I, I would take half a day kind of uh, to do, <laughs> do. Um, especially at the end of the movie where it gets closer to time. Uh, he gets in a cab and he's got to go across town and he pays the cab driver. He's like, let me drive. And he's, he bribes the cab driver to let him drive. And there's just no, <laughs> no way to, uh, he's a professor and so he's gonna drive across town, get to campus, run to where he's supposed to be in this 10 minutes. He goes, yeah, meet me in 10 minutes. I was like, I uh, must have been very lucky on catching the lights in that movie. <laughs> so <laughs> again, uh, that one got a 5.9. 5 I'll, I'll say that's, you know what? I almost go hours and 88 minutes should have the same rating. Um, different storylines, of course. Uh, Al Pacino, um, is going to be uh, in a movie, The Irishman. Uh, I think he's playing Al, uh, Jimmy Hoffa in that. Uh, so that's an upcoming movie. Uh, Elisa Witt was in this. Uh, Modern Persuasion is something she's done recently. So those are my two movies that uh, I kind of wish they worked, they worked on the time a little better to make it feel like, yeah, this does seem a little right. Um, Next movie, uh, this one uh, a little strange, um, kind of out there, and I think you have to watch the whole thing and make make sure it jumps around a little bit. Uh, Mordecai, uh, it got a five point five, and it was in two thousand fifteen. Uh, Johnny Depp and Gwyneth Paltrow are in here, and the movie is just it's bizarre, strange. It, it action, uh, mystery, comedy, uh, just a bizarre movie. Um, I'm looking at it as if you're looking for something different, this goes in that category. You know, 
where you're you're used to your type of movie genre. Um, I don't know. I, I I had that thing as like, do you like it? Do you hate it? Um, so the five point five, I think, is about right. Um, and then another again, I I, I kind of all over the place with these, and like, not great movies this time around. Um, this again goes in the bizarre. Uh, a gnome named Norm. <laughs> Back in 1990, a 4.6, and it's it's a action movie with a uh, Anthony Michael Hall playing a police officer, <laughs> and he has to help this gnome with his magic crystal, and it's strange and again a bizarre movie. If you're looking for something different, it got a 4.6. I almost want to give it a, I'm going to give it a five just for, it had a little entertainment. It was like, really? Whoever thought of this would really, I mean, <laughs> it's a little originality, I guess. Um, again, Anthony Michael Hall is in this, and he uh, was in something about her, uh, something recently he's involved with. And then uh, Claudia Christina, um, the pipeline is uh, some uh, something that she has been recently or working on, and uh, I think I'll save the one that's the worst. Or, yeah, considered the worst out of this last. I'll pass them. So I'm going to go to a movie that was called Witness to a Kill, and then Diamond Cut Diamond. So it had movie two movie titles. Um, 4.5, and uh, 2001 is when uh, this movie was made. Uh, if you're looking for an action movie, um, The Majesty's uh, Messenger uh, has to do some protecting while in South Africa. Um, again, if you're looking for an action movie, um, you got a 4.5. Um, I don't know, maybe you could get a 5, I think. Uh, Gary Daniels is in this and uh, just recently finished or is working on the uh, a repeater. And Eva Haberman, a uh, German actress, uh, she recently did something under control. And while I was looking at her, she does a lot of uh, looks like German movies as well as in some of her uh, biography. Uh, so. Uh, Again, that one, all these movies seem to be average uh, for what I'm recommending. And my last movie, this one does get a thumbs down. And I saw a review that thought, saw, had the same thing as I did. Um, it's called 10,000 Days, a movie that was 2014. And, jeez, uh, oh, I, I apologize. Um... It had a, yeah, that's what I apologize, lost a train of thought there. Uh, it also was a, a TV series, I guess, back in 2010, and I didn't know that, so I don't know anything about that. It seems like uh, some of the actors were in that 2010 series, so I don't know if they decided to just bring it to the movie and wrap it up. I, or, but the acting's not that great. Um, the storyline's all right, but at the end of the movie, um, the movie deals with a comet hitting Earth and causing Earth to go into an ice age. And uh, people are trying to survive. There's people that are against clans fighting against each other, kind of. So it's kind of a survival movie. But there's at the end of the movie, they find hope, kind of. And the movie stops right there. And how it ends, it doesn't... It's like, is there supposed to be more? And there's this review where I watched, streamed it, but the person goes, I didn't know if I was supposed to turn over the DVD to see if there was another part to this. And just how it ends, took the movie, and this got a 2.7. And I think... 
just how it rolled out, it could have maybe got a four if it would that some closure or basically I guess you could have had a movie coming, you know, one day after ten thousand days or the day after ten thousand days. It just it was something that I was like, wow, how you how you ended that? Uh, just uh, awful on that. And uh, going back to uh, Mordecai, uh, I think over Johnny Depp uh, was in a movie, uh, City of Lies, and when it's uh, Paul Throw, um, more or less recently been uh, involved in her character with Marvel uh, Comics, uh, Pepper. Uh, uh, Pepper Potts, uh, kind of CEO of Stark Industries, um, the Iron Man uh, comics is where that character is based on. But in the movies, uh, she's now in the Avengers with her character. Um, so she's she's making a pretty good killing, I'm thinking. Um, same with Johnny Depp with the Iron Man. No. Uh, uh, character going on um so uh that is it for today um try to survive the heat out there and uh, i'm enjoying doing the youtube videos still and uh, i hope uh people are too and uh if anybody new watches hey give a shout out uh and if you want to give me some thumbs down or whatever please do uh, i'm just having fun with this and trying to do stuff that uh I don't know, there's enough people throwing around. Uh, I mean, I get my topics every once in a while, but I try not to get anything uh, controversial, I guess. Um, I have one maybe I'm gonna do, uh, not sure yet, a, a talk about homelessness. Um, just had some thoughts on it. One of those things where I was driving with my dad, uh, you know, taking him to a bank or something, if I remember right. And, I don't know what it was. Also, I got on a, a soapbox and started talking to him about uh, how the homeless thing is just getting crazy. Um, and you know what? Maybe I'm going to continue this and do that. <laughs> I wing this a lot, so uh, it's going to be a long video. Um, so the homeless thing, uh, just seeing YouTube videos, it, it's starting to get to where you know, seeing San Francisco, LA, uh, the warmer cities, um, I think that's where, you know, your issue is going to be, even because it's year round that they have the nice weather. Whereas your cities that have the four seasons or deal with the winter, um, there's still homelessness, but people aren't able to make a, a vacation home, I guess you want to say out of it. Um, and I know with homelessness, you get different people. You got people that basically just want to be homeless. Uh, it, and uh, I, I remember when I was a kid, there was a story where somebody was supposed to get received social security. They found this person, uh, a news story, and they basically say, Hey, we'll meet you and we'll go over this with you. And the person didn't show up and, uh, they found the person, but like I say, they say, yeah, we'll get you all, you know, you got social security coming guy. And uh, he just uh, was a person that wanted to be homeless. Um, you have mental issues, you have uh, drug use, and but you do have some people that are down on their luck. And this is what, and I, with all the politicians and red tape out there, I'm trying to make this simple kind of, and I could be offbeat, but wouldn't there be a way to like create a processing center or that you could help the people that do want the help, uh, that just, you know, lost their job, um, maybe medical bills or, you know, financial problems came about. Um, try to help them first. I'm not trying to say, keep the mental or the drug users we don't care about them but try to get it so that you get some of the homeless people back into the world um i know it's like how do you do that but i was thinking it's you you do have areas that 
I don't know, get a coalition together and get a questionnaire or something for these homeless people or the ones that are willing to at least answer. And I mean, if it comes down to it, the ones that are able to get some, that are, oh, I don't know, mentally capable or um, not dependent or mentally ill, try to break them out of the homeless pattern. Um, I wish you could do that for everybody. I really do. Um, it would take a lot of effort and money. Um, I think some people do know how to work the angle. Those people, I, I feel like they just, uh, I don't know. It's something that bugs me on that. But uh, again, I'm going back to, you know, it's like, if anything, let's try to make a dent in homelessness. I wish we could solve it all. Um, I wouldn't doubt there's a way to do it, but uh, at least try to go after or assist the people willing to participate uh, properly. And I know there's going to be some people that are thinking, oh yeah, I want to, and they don't. Um, that definitely is going to be a, a detour uh, that, uh, I don't know, something that uh, just a negative aspect of the policy. Um, so that is kind of uh, where I'm going with the homeless thing. I, again, something I just kept in, came in my mind and it's like for all the money and um, the San Francisco thing where they have people on heroin and supposedly they're giving these people their fix. Uh, the government is, and it, it, that just seems strange. Um, I don't know. It, it It's something that bugs me a bit. Um, I know that they need help, but I just, <laughs> I don't see that's the help. Um, you're, I, I know they're trying their ways, but that just seems heroin's illegal. <laughs> so you're you're providing a legal sub substance to somebody. Um, so I, I don't know how true that is. I, it, for what I'm seeing, it is. It's true. So, um, but if I'm wrong, uh, you can let me know. Uh, so this is a topic again, I kind of throwing a couple of my other ones were drug use and, um, suicide prevention. Uh, so now I'm going to throw in homelessness. Um, this country, I mean, there's so much going on and I don't know the, yeah, I just don't want to go down a whole rabbit hole here. So stick with the topic of homelessness. So that's what I, I, I think of is that um, try to set something up to um, assist the down on their luck um, homelessness. Uh, see if you can get them into, uh, back into the, the workforce. Um, and I know it's probably a small percentage. I mean, again, I don't 10%, 20%, but if you're able to get, you know, 10% off the street, it's 10% less. Um, again, I wish we could help everybody. And I know we probably could if we figured it out. Um, but that is uh, my topic and uh, <laughs> my, my opinion for today. And uh, <laughs> folks in the house, uh, speaking his mind. Uh, lengthy video I'm noticing and, uh, but want to cover a little of everything and uh, instead of waiting on a a video on homelessness why not talk about it right now um i kind of go off the the cuff here everybody um even with my reviews i just write down some notes of the actor year and the, have the rating handy and then after that it's just talk about it and uh so that's what i do and uh, hope everybody has a great day. Um, again, if you're dealing with the heat, um, 
stick with uh, keeping yourself hydrated and uh, try to take breaks if you're working outside. Have a good one, and uh, Fuchs is out of the house.